Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is um, Biohazard 2, but is it? This is a mod for the original Resident Evil 2 um, called the Marvin's Mod, I do believe, or Marvin's Nightmare, depending on where you uh, download it from. So this was made by a few people. Uh, it originally came out, I believe, last year or the year before. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a short but incredibly sweet chapter that explains how Marvin ended the way he did. As we meet him in the opening scenes of Resident Evil 2, depending on whether we're playing as Claire or Leon, we meet him in the same place. So, yes, uh, he's obviously immortally wounded, and this uh, will go through his story of the last officers and trying to survive the chaos that hit the uh, police station before Resident Evil 2 starts. And it's actually really interesting. This is a fan mod, as I said. Uh, it's made by a couple of people. And the detail and effort that they've actually put into this is kind of impressive. Um, they've actually redrawn some of the assets. We've got new characters, new animations. Um, it really is a quality job. Now, there is some strange inconsistencies, you know, as you would expect. This is a fan project, after all. For instance, we do complete a couple of the same puzzles that we have um you know we, we actually do as leon or claire in the f the actual game but yeah you know the dude's working with, with what he had i suppose now this is standalone you don't need to have resident evil 2 original um you can just follow the link in the description and download it. Now it has some nice quality of life upgrades. Um, it runs beautifully. You can skip the doors uh, loading screens if you want. Uh, I found limited success with that. Sometimes they skip quite nicely and other times they skip the animation but the room still has to load. I guess we're obviously, you know, bumping up into uh, engine limitations here. Um, but yeah, let's go and uh, see what really happened before Leon and Claire turn up. Ah, we've got hard because I've already run through this once. But we're going to go for normal. I think hard could be relatively challenging in this game. Um, I'm not really sure what they would change. I'm guessing, you know, just limiting the amount of ammo and that kind of stuff. Who knows? Anyway the purpose of this LP, we're going to be going normal. Resident Evil 2. Take a look at this. It's a map of this place back when it was an art museum. There should be a ventilation tunnel in the ground. And that'll get us out of here? It should, but it's so narrow, you might be the only one who can fit through. So I'll get help and come back, right? Looks like it's a race against time. Now that we've lost communications, there's nothing else we can do. All right, everyone, we got to hurry up and find a way into that tunnel. It's going to be our way out of here. Okay, so it's Marvin. We start off behind our desk, which is a really cool little... Uh, you know, little nod. This is where we find him in the game when he uh, starts mutating into a zombie. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Spoilers for a 30-year-old game. Uh, anyway, we do have the safe. I don't know the code to open it yet. Not sure why. We're going to be accompanied for this first section with Rita. And that's quite handy because, as you can see, we have a handgun, uh, one magazine. Make that two magazines. And a knife. And this place absolutely crawls. So, yeah, we're going to need Rita and her unlimited ammo. So, here's David. 
I hope this plan of yours works, Marvin. Yeah, me too, because otherwise we're kind of up the shitter, really. Ooh, hello. We'll have you. We're certainly going to take the F.A. spray. And there's Elliot. We'll split up and search for other survivors. All right. I'll contact you when we find a way out. Yeah, probably not the greatest idea, to be honest, to split up. But, you know, at least Marvin and Rita are going to be rolling together. Anyway, this does work with control pads, by the way, but apparently not wireless ones. So Rita is packing some serious firepower, even though she's only got a handgun. She's got a very powerful handgun. Now, the problem with her is actually getting her to attack the enemies. But all you have to do, really, is wait for them to get close, and she will open up. I don't actually know if she can die. I'm hoping she can't. But at least that one actually went for her, not me. Now, we can and will take a lot of damage from these guys but we have our trusty knife which we're going to lean on for a little bit now uh rita the, 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 the dude's getting back up uh, yeah no maybe thinking about it oh, i'm not sure she knows what she's doing to be honest there we go good girl now if you could get the second one that'd be fantastic i'm assuming they've used claire's model for rita and just retextured the model. I'm not 100% sure though. So anyway, if we check these doors. The knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Yes, it does. So we've got some kind of weird inconsistencies here. Um, the map layout is a mix of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. There's an awful lot of doors that are just straight up locked and blocked that we can't ever go through, but that's fine. This is a much tighter... Ah, Rita. Come on, Rita. There you go. Right, let's drag her along to the party. Rita, if you could. Thank you. I'm not sure what gun she has, but it's pretty powerful. I like the way she has a different firing animation as well. Just to give her character like a little bit more personality. Rita. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Now, if she saves us from getting bitten, I don't know if that actually saves our health. I don't know how that works. What are we on? We're still on fine. There isn't a humongous amount of supplies in this game. Um, there's certainly enough, but it isn't like the original Resident Evil 2 with Claire and Leon, where you literally have more ammo and weapons than you can shake a stick at. Or at least shake a zombie arm at. Come on, Rita. Oh, we're actually... Okay, no, we're fine. Now, I'm, I can't quite understand how... Oh, he's not dead. How the actual health system works in this. Because it seems to be... And I don't know whether it's a bug or just something that we're going to have to get used to. But... I'm going to grab this red herb. It seems to be like you can get bitten a couple of times and you're fine. And then um, after some time has passed, you'll notice that, yeah, see, look, Martin is limping like this. And I'm not sure what that's about because it looks like his health kind of um, decreases over time. But I don't know whether that's just me being wrong, which absolutely could be. Or if that's actually a factor, like if you get bitten, does it continuously drain your health over time? I don't know. Anyway. We're going to grab the cabin key. Now, where could we possibly need the cabin key? What's that? The cabin? Exactly. Have yourself 10 points. We're going to go to the cabin. Oh, by the way, where's Rita? Yeah, she just spawns randomly. Um, oh, actually, I don't think it's random. Like, I think in this room, for instance, she will always spawn from that door. It's kind of weird sometimes. She absolutely does not. And, yep, she's spawned at the other end of the corridor. Which is a little bit weird. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Dude was making this by, hims by himself. I'm, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Or at least he had a small team of other fans. Anywho, 
this place is rather quiet. Ooh, the body isn't there. Curious. Wonder if we're going to see that body appear later on. Who knows? I mean, I know. Now, Rita has a little bit of trouble navigating this room, but that's okay. She doesn't really need to, you know, know how to use these stairs. She, she's fine, you know. Okay, so this body's here, but he does not have any bullets on him. Which is damn right cheeky of him, if you ask me. But whatever, let's keep going. Now they've, uh, I think they've actually, you know, populated this map with their own amount of ammunition and that kind of stuff. Oh, there is green herbs there, which we do want. Unfortunately... We're going to get pecked in the neck, which, well, isn't exactly ideal, but Marvin can handle it. I think one of the biggest things we want to save is health, because seriously, guys, that does become a bit of an issue. Right. We're just going to hope that we can use this to our advantage. Ow. Rita, if you could kind of help me out a little bit here, I'd appreciate it. Let's combine. Now, these dogs, well, they really want a piece of us, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay, two left. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. I believe. All right, that was not exactly great. And we are in danger. Son of a... Didn't want to use a herb this early, if I'm honest. But needs must when the devil drives. Anyway, come on. This way. Could we have run past all of those? Uh, maybe? That's definitely somewhere where we could look at optimizing our strategy just a little bit. So, in here... We have not much, to be honest. We could save the game here, but we're not going to. But we are going to take the ink ribbons. Okay. We only have to come through here once, so... We're not going to worry too much about it. Right, Rita, if you could uh, handle the zombies, please. Rita, please. Today? Yes? No? Maybe? All right, Rita. You're really screwing the pooch here. Oh, she is actually injured. That's curious. Okay, so actually hitting these zombies is kind of difficult. That's fine. Come on, Rita. There you go. You didn't quite fancy finishing him off, huh? That's okay. That's why Marvin gets paid the big bucks. Right, one more left, I think. Possibly two. Rita? I don't think her eyes are working very well. That's okay. Can't be too hard on her now, can we? Right. Area clear. So, we've come all this way for the club key. Okay, excellent. The club key. I don't think there's anything else out here. I was hoping maybe there was some stuff hidden away in these uh, police cruisers here, but no. Sadly not. All right, let's go. We've mostly cleared the way back anyway, so it's all gravy. As you can see, I skipped the door there, but we still had to wait quite a while for that um, black screen to disappear, so I'm genuinely not sure if it's worth skipping those doors. Now, unfortunately, these birds could be a bit of a problem. Run! Run! Remember your training, Rita, and you will make it back alive. Saved by the door. <laughs> it always spins me out, you know, when we come through a door and she's not there. I do like the way she gets injured, though. That's kind of curious. Now, we do have the club key. It's in the shape of... No, it's the spade key. How silly of me. I'm sure those pixel graphics are better than uh, I'm 
making them sound. Oh, we got zombies in here. Right, Rita. What would be cool if, if it, we had like a Resident Evil Zero kind of situation where we could control the other person? Rita, please. With the uh, left analog stick. That would have been pretty snazzy. Now, I do want to kind of use her as much as I can to take these zombies out. Like, stay there. Stay. No, no, Rita. No, stay. Stay. You stay, and you shoot the zombie. See, see, see the big policeman walking towards us? Pretty angry looking fella. If, if you could, if, uh, uh, Rita? Yeah? No? Maybe? I'm gonna think about it. Rita, you're really not making my life much easier here at all. Uh, when I, <laughs> off camera, when I played through this, uh, she actually was quite a bit better than she's being now. I don't know why, but whatever. Right, let's get a few quick stabs in. She does have unlimited ammo. Look at this. Look at this. How cool is this? Th th this is really cool. Like, the way they've uh, redrawn that room. Or at least that little corridor, anyway. So, we've got some shotgun shells. Uh, we will certainly be back here for this puzzle a little bit later on. Okay, come on, Rita. Let's go spread more chaos and destruction. We are approaching 20 minutes, but I don't know how I'm going to record this game, guys. I don't know whether I'm just going to, like, cut it up. Um, like, record it mostly in one section. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out together. So, we have um, the Chief Secretary's Diary A, but there's no point reading it. Because, you know, we it's the same as it was in Resident Evil 2. I am just going to leave it on the screen there if you do fancy reading it again for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, I've seen and read this thousands of times. So, right, we're going to grab up these. We are going to grab these. So how many handgun bullets are in this version? You might be asking yourself, 200? 300? No, not even close. I would say if I had to guess, we're probably looking at somewhere in the region of 120 handgun bullets. That's it. But that's enough to comfortably get through, right? No, not really. If we didn't have Rita, it would be a lot harder. Okay, he's done. Right. Come on, Rita. I need you to clear the way. There you go. Beautiful. Yep, taught her everything she knows. Oof. Please don't die. Uh, how are you feeling uh, there, Rita? You, you, you good? Ooh, dear. See, if you shoot them with the gun, Rita, they die. And, and, and when they die, they cannot hurt you anymore. You see? It's a pretty simple concept. I'm, I'm sure you must have learned that at some point during your, um, you know, tenure at here. I mean, maybe not, you know. I assumed most Americans are born with a gun in hand and a light beer in the other. There we go. Okay. Now, if we go through the other door over there, it's obviously the library, but we don't have the key for the library just yet. Okay. Let's grab those. And there is some more ink ribbons there. Our condition is slightly questionable, but I think we're okay. Now. We can't go through there. Now we need the diamond for that one. Okay. So that leaves one option. Nope. Wait a minute. Let me check my map a minute. 
Um. Ah. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't show blocked off um, rooms in the map. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and have a little look. Back up the ladder. Right. Where did she spawn here, I wonder? I'm not 100% sure. Now. We can't go through that one. Okay. Oh, wait. Could be potentially... One thing that we can potentially do... Right. Let's drop those there. We're going to grip the knife. I think what we really need to do is... We need to get the gems, I believe. There's nothing in the room next to us. We haven't quite... been through there yet. Okay. Let's go back through here. Now, the door that's repaired and not damaged in this version, uh, we can't actually do anything with that one yet. Is there something down here that we missed that I didn't pick up? Possibly. Right. I don't really want to run through here. Again. I have a feeling. See, I'm thinking the crank's down here, but I don't think it is. Let's have a look. Nope. Okay, so we're all good there. Now, you would have thought there was like a little bit more ammo or something around here, but no. No, there is not. Alright, well. We have missed a door. Which is what I'm thinking of here. We can't go through there, I don't think. We cannot. No, no. But we are going to get our faces eaten. Unfortunately, or at least the back of our neck pecked at. Now, I'm sure in some cultures that's quite an enjoyable thing, but not in Raccoon City. Not if it's zombie birds. That's absolutely not a good time. Now, Rita's going to spawn back down there, which always makes me laugh. I don't know where she spawns here. We can't. We need the heart key for that one. That's fine. We should go find ourselves a heart key. Did I miss an item down here? I may have. But I don't think I did. Now, I'm pretty sure that room there that we haven't been in that's locked. The room in the middle, where we have to do the furnace puzzle, we can't get in that yet because we need a precinct key for that one. But down here, there is an item we need. We need to find the lighter. Yep, that one cannot be opened. And unfortunately, it doesn't update on our map as broken. Which is unfortunate. Right, okay. That's fair. In that case, we just need to continue exploring the uh, main downstairs section of the police station. Which would be really nice if we could just go through there. But we can't. So we've got to go all around the houses. Okay. can't open... Yeah, we can't open that yet. Actually, can we open that yet? We need to find the file with the information. Ah! There we go. That's what we needed. 
That's my fault for not reading the file properly. Haha, <laughs> lol. Okay, now we can go and uh, open the way. So, we need to go back into the main area, which is back up and over. But unfortunately, we are going to lose Rita, which is sad. And I still love this area. Every time I play Resident Evil 2, there's something absolutely horrific about this area. The crunchy gravel, the sturdy looking safety of that fence, and you can just hear the wailing zombies from just yonder. Pretty nightmare stuff. Anyway, now we have the key to get another key, because that is the way of Resident Evil. One item trades for another. Tis the style of the time. Now, let's head back downstairs. And let's go. So, we can plot away at that computer, but we're not going to get anything. You know, it's a shame there's no items or anything here. I did think there might be some ammo or something, but no. It'll take at least an hour to get through a space this narrow. Use this to keep in touch with me. It doesn't have much range, but the signal should get through if I'm close by. Leave it to me. I promise I'll be back with help. That's got to be, like, really freaky, the way that, um, you know, it just descends down and she has no way back. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy stuff. So, anyway, now we can go through here. Single-use keys. And in here we have a zombie problem. But hopefully, not too much of a zombie problem. Let's see if we can't drop him down. Give him a few stabs. And... I'd rather spend the bullets and not get injured. Now this is cool, because... There's the lighter that we need. You really do have to think about it. Do we want to fire the last few bullets that we have? Not that I think things are going to get that desperate, but... Where's this other dick? Ah, he's over there. And if you're at wondering if quick turn works, it does. This, get, this mod actually runs really nicely. Um, I, I really do want to get the PC version of uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3. Although, I'm not 100% sure how to find them yet. You know, it'd be, be pretty nice if they were on Steam. Just just saying, just, just throwing it out there. I would I would like to give you money for these versions, Capcom. Just, just saying. Anyway, we have David. What happened? Are you alright? One of those things took a bite out of me. I don't feel so good. I'm gonna rest here. You go on ahead, Marvin. Hang in there, David. Yeah, um, don't go, like, dying on us, David. And if you do die, just, just remember to drop that big old, big old shotgun for us. Be a pal, right? Now, this room's not too bad. We drop you. Can't tell if he's bleeding out. Nope, he's not bleeding out. This might get worse before it gets better. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. 
long as we can save a few bullets, uh, we're okay. All right, let's combine those, get a fresh magazine. Hopefully he's taken a decent amount of damage. Probably don't need to kill everybody. In the ah, you bastard. Absolute bastard, honestly. God damn it. Even your mother thought you were a cunt. Anyway, let's go. So, we are back in the land of the living. Kind of. We're going to want to hold on to that lighter for sure. Now, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, I can develop film here. Now, um, you can actually... It's locked. A special kind of key is required. You can actually get the uh, hidden film from Wesker's desk. And I'm guessing the operation report is still there, but we already know the operation report. Um, but funny enough, you don't actually have to develop it, which is kind of curious. Right, I think what we're going to do, we are exactly on half an hour here, guys, pretty much. So I am going to save it here. I reckon we could do this in three videos. Yeah, <laughs> I got the uh, the finished video, uh, the finished save file there. Do not load. Apparently it breaks the game. Huh. So we're not going to load it. So we're going to overwrite. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go hunt some gems. You know, the ones, the big, red, shiny ones. And see what they give us.